activity number one. This one is called paddle pandemonium. And this one you're gonna need some type of paddle and some type of ball. You can also use a balled up sock or I've seen a lot of people actually use a uh, paper plate taped to a spatula. You can use that too, kind of creative. You can use a book as well, uh, but I have a paddle here and a tennis ball, so you can use that. Um, and you're also gonna need a laundry bin. Okay, the idea for on this activity we're gonna work on our underhand striking using another implement. In this case, our implement is our paddle, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to strike our ball from about three or four feet away and try to get it to go into our bin. Now to make it harder, you can stand farther away and hit it into the bin, or you can stand at the same distance but try to make it a smaller target. So you can use a smaller trash bin or a bucket, anything like that. So you can kind of do it a different way. I got nine, I believe. I'm going to have to go back and watch, make sure I got uh, that amount. But uh, hope you had fun with that one. Again, to make it a little easier, if you'd like to, you can bounce it as well uh, and play it on a, on a harder surface. That'll make it a little harder for you as well. Hope you had fun with that one. Right to underscore. Let's move on to challenge number two. Okay, challenge number two. We've had a couple requests for this one. This is a basketball shooting free throw competition. For one minute, we're going to see how many free throws you can make. Uh, you can raise and lower your basket however you'd like. Um, I'm shooting on 10 feet, which would be most likely for 4th uh, and 5th grade. 3rd uh, through 3rd and below, you'll probably be shooting at 9 or 8. Uh, so whatever you feel like you can shoot at at your home, based on your conditions. And uh, I made my line about 9 feet uh, for my basket. That's really all I have. So 9 feet, and you can kind of figure out, based on your home situation, how far apart you can be. Okay, if you're inside and you don't want to do this outside, if you don't have a basket, what I've seen people do is cut a hole in a box on the top and the bottom, tape it to the top of their door, and use a balled up sock and shoot it that way. You can absolutely do that. That's perfectly fine. Okay, so you're going to set your timer and try to see how many shots you can make in one minute. I'm going to go for, I'm going to go for 10. Let's see if I can get 10 in one minute.
man. Only got five. That is not good. I need to practice my shooting. It's been a while since I've shot. It's the first time I've shot on a basket, actually, in probably a month and a half. So I need to get my practicing in. Hopefully you did better than that. Let's move on to challenge number three. Okay, challenge number three is called pillow flip. For challenge number three, you're gonna need a pillow and you're gonna need a balled up sock, okay? You can also use a ball if you'd like, okay? So for kindergarten through second grade, your challenge is to put that ball or that sock on that pillow. Step back. <clears throat> you're gonna pop it up, try to catch it with your pillow. Pop it up, try to catch it. So three through fifth, pop it up, one hand, try to catch it just like that. All right, whichever level you choose, just keep count. If you drop it, no big deal. Pick it up and keep going. Keep track of your score. Try to see how many catches you can get in one minute. If you'd like to make it a little harder for your kindergarten through second grade, but you don't want to use a hand, you can try popping it over and going reverse. Okay, just like that. And then you just take it off and reset it. Okay, everybody ready? We're gonna go and get started in three, two, one, go. Twenty-four. I got twenty-four. Did not catch that one. So I'm gonna be honest. I didn't catch it, so I'm not gonna count. I got twenty-four. How did you do? Write down your score. However you did, whether you caught it with the pillow, whether you caught it reverse, or whether you caught it with one hand. Write down your score. Great job. Let's move on to challenge number four. All right. This game is called Strike It Off. In this game, your goal is to use the underhand strike to use your implement. You can use a paddle or a ball, a uh, tennis ball and you're trying to knock that ball, that container off of your laundry bin, just like that. You can use a milk jug, you can use a big soda bottle, whatever you have lying around. I just found an empty uh, tennis can container in my garage, so I'm gonna use that. Uh, for your paddle, you can use a tennis racket, you can use a book, uh, whichever you'd like, okay? So how it's gonna work is you're gonna stand about three feet away, you're gonna use the underhand strike, stepping with the opposite foot, try to strike that ball so that it knocks over the empty container over there on the other side. Okay, you're gonna have one minute to see how many times you can knock over your bottle. Okay, ready to set your timers? We're gonna start in three, two, one, go. I only got four on that, not too bad. What did you get? Write down your score. That was a hard one. And let's move on to our final challenge, challenge number five. All right, our final challenge, challenge number five, is a game called Pancake Flip. What you're gonna need for this one is you're gonna need that paddle again, or some type of racket, and you're gonna need a rolled up sock. And what I want you to do with the sock is try to flatten it a little bit 
rub it together a little bit so that it's a little flatter, okay? Uh, so what you're gonna do, this is a good tennis and hand-eye coordination skill, you're gonna take that uh, sock, you're gonna put it on your paddle like this, palm facing up, you're gonna throw it over your head, turn your racket over, try to catch it on the other side. So it should flip like this on either side, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip it, it's gotta go over your head, and you're gonna try to see how many times you can catch it in one minute, okay? All right, everybody ready? We got one minute to see how many flips you can get, okay? Every time you catch it, that's a point. So one, two, three, just like that. Okay, here we go, ready? Three, two, one, go. Make sure it goes over your head. Cut that. You got 31. You got 31 on that. Great job. Write down your score. That was a tough one. Really good for working on your hand eye coordination and your paddle skills. So, great job with challenge number five. All right, everybody. Great, great job with our challenge day eight today. Hope you guys had a lot of fun with that one. There's some really hard challenges on that. And again, whatever uh, activity we are doing, if you need to modify it a little bit for where you are, whether it's location, whether it's the type of object you're using, Whatever you got to do, go ahead and do it, okay? I'm just choosing stuff to do outside because I really like being outside. I've been inside all day uh, grading and stuff, so I want to be outside. So if you can do, if you want to do it inside, everything that we did today can be done inside. Just got to switch up your equipment a little bit. So great job today. Hope you had a lot of fun. Remember to keep emailing me and sending me those challenges. I want to see them, and uh, I really look forward to doing your next video for you, guys. Okay, so great job today. Until next time, stay active, Montgomery.